you very much for that silence. We will now proceed with our show. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Kim Cardenas, your recently crowned Mr. Tourism International Philippines 2022, and I am formally welcoming you to the press presentation of our 14th edition of the Mr. International Competition. I am greeting all of you. Good afternoon. And we have waited three years for this 14th edition to commence. Nevertheless, I would like to ask for you guys a round of applause for this event. And of course, a round of applause for our late Alex Sim. Beyond his life, his legacy will truly live beyond. Thank you very much, everyone. And to the members of the press, thank you very much. Those who are watching online, you are now tuned to the 14th edition of the Mr. International Competition. Only here at the Meridian Ballroom of Luxon Hotel in Quezon City, Philippines. Now, without further ado, it is always and will ever be my utmost pride and honor to present to you our 34 international candidates in their resorts wear. Their resorts wear is designed by the one and only Limwell Rosas. Once again, everyone, these are your candidates in their resorts wear.
Sir Kennedy. Oh,
Mr. Matt Barr.
Wow, what an extreme showcase of their physical appearances and attributes. Once again, let's give them a round of applause for this successful presentation. And special thanks to Lemuel Rosas. He is the, the one and only, the mind behind those amazing designs of a resort wear. Now, proceeding with our program, I believe that may I call on the Managing Director of the Mr. International Organization and the Acting National Director of the Mr. International Philippines Organization, none other than Mr. Amir Imam. Bravo, applause, everyone. After three years of waiting due to the pandemic, we are back to show everyone that Mr. International remains to be the most prestigious male pageant in the world. We are saddened and extremely saddened by the passing of our dear beloved founder and president, Adam Sim. But if he is here today, I am really sure that, and I'm certain that, he would want this. Um, Love you, Amir! Love you, Amir! Yeah. Adam, I miss you and I truly love you. We are certain that this delicacy will continue, Alan. To our beloved Alan, see wherever you are. You're always holding me, Alan. And to our dear founder, President Alan C, will continue your legacy. And it's my great honor and privilege to you to represent to you the 34 candidates of Mr. International for the tradition in the formal pastel wear. Thank you. 
understand his actions worldwide, as he has already done a lot of social work in his own country. Once again, that is Mr. Brazil, the one Antonelli in Bristol. Mr. Cambodia, E. Butcher, is 25 years old and stands 6 feet tall. He enjoys swimming during his days off and working out in the gym in the evenings. He wants to be Mr. International so he can show his Cambodian flag and culture to the international stage. Mr. India, Lukanath Chetimayu, 
It is 20 years old, it stands 5 feet and 11 inches. He enjoys doing anything that advances him and enhances his quality of life. Not to mention producing and directing films. He wants to be Mr. International because he hopes to gain his own empowerment through this platform and commit to uplifting and empowering one another.
is, is 25 years old, it stands 6 feet and 2 inches tall. He enjoys exercising his career, modeling, acting, and training, and being with family and friends. He wants to be the next Mr. International, so he can be a spokesperson and encourage young people to improve themselves and get ahead with education and values through long-term effort. Traveling and experiencing different cultures internationally 
to connect with different people around the world. He wants to be Mr. International so that he can revolutionize and change the way of pageantry for the better. Aside from becoming a role model, not only for the people in the country, but representing women pageantry as a whole and simply being his distinctive self. Mr. Puerto Rico, Leah Sousa, is 29 years old and stands 5 feet 11 and a half inches tall. He enjoys tennis, yoga, cooking, and hiking. He wants to be the next Mr. International because he believes that being Mr. International is more than just being a pretty face. He wants to be an inspiration for other people and make a positive impact on the world. Mr. Singapore, Sean Nicholas Sotion, is 26 years old and stands 6 feet tall. He enjoys running, swimming, working out, reading, and exploring and experiencing new industries and new environments. He wants to be the next Mr. International so he can provide a platform and be a beacon of hope and life. Mr. Spain, Juan Pablo, is 25 years old, stands 6 feet and 3 inches tall, and admits to being fascinated with the current affairs. He wants to be the next Mr. International so he can give the best of himself, put his country at the top of the world, and also for the opportunity to travel and discover the world and different cultures. Hassan Wira Seeker is 23 years old, stands 5 feet and 9 inches tall, and devotes his time teaching kids at the temple in Sunday school. He wants to be the next Mr. International so he can have a platform to speak to young people who may have experienced the same traumatic experience as he did growing up. He enjoys going to the gym. He 
he wants to be the next Mr. International because the title will provide him the chance to share helpful information to the society around the world.
have it our 34 Mr. District National candidates in their castle or over here. Take this opportunity to take photos of them since they will be leaving the stage in the water. You can now exit the stage. Thank you very much. Namely, the Keemans. There you go. And you can now pay attention to this video that is going to be played. Thank you very much. Lights on, energy up, and get ready to take center stage. But if you're worrying about that debut, well, don't fret. Because you just need a little bit of expert touch to finally find the confidence to step under the spotlight. The best part is, there's a Filipino skincare brand that'll guide you through the whole process of achieving the best version of yourself. No need to look any further, because Cadence is here. Our founders, Dr. Eric Kipwonko, popularly known as Doc Kiabi, and wife, Vina, boast of over a decade of experience in the beauty industry. Doc Yappy's track record in helping many people become better versions of themselves through amazing transformations is a testament to his contribution to the beauty industry. They saw the need for quality health and beauty products, and even though there were small bumps on the road, they found a way around it. The pandemic was just one side of the coin. They've managed to flip the problem, giving opportunities to those displaced by the lockdown. In 2021, they created an even bigger stage with a better skin movement that showcased real people, real results. We kicked off this journey with our flagship line of facial serums that target various input service. We kept to momentum, going by producing more quality and functional beauty products. All these expertly formulated skincare staples have undergone extensive usage and clinical tests and are FDA approved. To further magnify the reach of the better skin movement, we tap influential social media personalities. These efforts resulted in reaching more Filipinos, experiencing real results. It also opened doors to more opportunities for long-time and body entrepreneurs to start a way to a better life. Because of this, we are now present all over the Philippines through Cayman's Business and Partnerships. The grant for Ray to e-commerce to allow more consumers to get their hands on quality beauty products that they deserve. Now, the stage is yours. It's time for you to take part in this journey on your way to better skin. Thank you very much for paying attention to that short video. Once again, we are, or we would like to express our utmost gratitude to Kimans for co-presenting this event. Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, we do have a major announcement to make this afternoon. May I call on Attorney Manuel Del Dio on stage to present the first ever Mr. International Watch. A round of applause 
Brother Nita Long. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for attending our press presentation, for being with us. Thank you so much. You didn't give up on us, although it's, I mean, it's a journey that we've been into. First of all, I would like to thank the um, board of directors of Mr. International Philippines. We have here Dr. Charlie and Dr. James. Thank you so much. And also our managing director and board of director, Mr. Amir Gamam. Um, I would also like to thank the national directors of Hong Kong. Um, it was just his birthday two days ago, Frederick. Happy birthday again. Um, um, ever supportive uh, parent of Barry also is here. He's been a mom to all of us during this. Thank you so much. Also, Lyron, you know, he's, he's such an encouragement for all of us here at Mr. International and Mr. International Philippines. You know, um, prior, to, prior to the sudden death of Mr. Alan Sim, we've been talking about something that will remind the winner of his responsibility as Mr. International. And when we were discussing what it would be, it was decided to be a watch. And to remind the next Mr. International that now it is his time to rule. The people behind this watch, it's not possible without um, Without key hands, our students are possible. Um, I would like also to call them on. Uh, I would I would also like to call them on uh, on stage, Dr. Yaki and uh, Ms. Vina. Um, in behalf of Mr. International Organization and Mr. International Philippines, we would like to thank you for making this watch possible. We, we, we intend and we hope that this will be a yearly thing for Mr. International. The winner will always have a watch to remind him of his one-year rule. Dr. Yaki, Dr. Nina, thank you so much. I would also like to call Miss Lerma. Uh, without her, uh, this is not possible. Thank you so much, ma'am. I know we've been through a lot the past week. Thank you so much for being with us, despite of. And I would like to give the floor to uh, Miss Lerma to um, tell, uh, to, to share to us what Kimans is all about. Thank you. Thanks, Attorney. Good afternoon, everyone, once again. Um, I am tasked today to introduce, well, Attorney already introduced our CEO and COO here, Dr. Eric and Vina Yapuanko. But nevertheless, I just um, wanted to show to you what, what Keenan's is all about. But before that, let's watch this. Icon Clinic. Headed by its founder, Dr. Samuel Eric Yapuanko, together with his wife, Vina Yapuanko, is the trusted go-to place for beauty transformations that are beyond expectations. Dr. Samuel Eric Yapuanko is a board-certified plastic surgeon, a diplomat of the Philippine Board of Plastic Surgery, and an active fellow of the Philippine Association of Plastic, Reconstructive, and Aesthetic Surgeons. The only society recognized by both the Philippine Medical Association and the Philippine College of Surgeons to practice the field of plastic surgery in the Philippines. Being one of the Philippines' top cosmetic and reconstructive surgeons, Doc Yaki, as many of his friends and patients would call him, has become an expert in the field of plastic surgery through his years of extensive experience, rightfully earning him the title King of Amazing Transformations. Definition of what looks good or not keeps changing and evolving. That is why the Icon Clinic takes it a notch higher to keep up with the current trends in the beauty industry. Doc Yaki's talents are not limited to his practice of cosmetic surgery alone. 
as he further enhances his expertise through special education abroad. With his commitment to offer only top-notch and world-class surgical procedures, the most recent and remarkable training he had was with one of the world's renowned plastic surgeons, Dr. Michael Schaus Howard, better known as Dr. Miami. I came to Miami to train in the past, and I'm here to learn what's new, what's what can enhance my knowledge and my technique, make it better for my patients. The Icon Clinic. Real people, real results. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Icon Clinic was founded by Doc Yappy here and wife Vina. And the tandem, the couple actually, as you may have seen, has a well entrenched experience and track record for over a decade in the beauty industry. Avina here, in fact, aside from being the COO and uh, the, a supportive wife and doting mother to her three beautiful children, she also wears many hats. Um, aside from being a COO of the Icon Clinic, she is also um, the founder also the, the head of our new product development process, our product development team um, for Keymans. She is a pharmacist by profession and um, she has a master's degree in business management health at the Ateneo Manila University. This is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Doc Cappy and Vina. So there, um, just a quick story about how um, the brand Keyman started. Um, it started when patients from the Icon Clinic were clamoring for products that they could use after surgery. So there have been clamors. So um, for the last, what, 10 years, they've been trying to conceptualize and plan for the launch of a skincare brand. And finally, back in 2021, both of them gave birth to the brand Keymans. We all started with um, our product line, no? uh, uh, facial serums. So, quick history. Um, in the clinic, we, that's where where we um, offered the facial serums. And we are just so delighted with the overwhelming um, feedback from our uh, patients there. And so they thought, uh, okay, I guess this is the right time already for, for us to launch the brand. And at the same time, last year, as you may all know, um, we were at the height of the lockdown. So many people were displaced from their jobs. So there, people need some, um, you know, some extra jobs or um, opportunities to augment their income. So um, we thought that 2021 or, or 2021 is the best year or the right time for us to finally launch the brand Keymans. So taking the center stage in our product portfolio are our facial serums. Our facial serums um, were actually tested first in our clinics. So because our patients were, were raving about it, were very happy with the result. So that's when we decided that we'll finally launch um, Keymans. Um, so all our serums are actually, uh, uh, we, we launched the serums and they cater to different skincare concerns. You know? So whether you're a male, regardless of age, gender, um, we are actually, um, uh, we ensure that our serums are fit for different ages and even um, gender. As well, for, for most of you, you know that um, it's only the women who have rigid skincare routine. But I'm sure if you will check with the guys backstage, um, they also have their own um, skincare regimen. So it's not any more exclusive to the female market. So, um, aside from launching the serums, basically, we also had other products in the category, in the portfolio, and we made sure that each and every product, for each and every product that we launch, we carefully pick every ingredient that we put into. And we are 
uh, a proudly FDA approved, proudly Filipino made, you know, headed by, as I mentioned, Vina is on top of the product development team. So all our products are produced in line with global standards. And you will be surprised that in terms of quality, we are on par with global standards, global brands, but it won't really break her wallet. So, um, aside from being present on Shopee and Lazada, we are also present nationwide through our Keyman's business hubs. So, as low as 1,000 pesos, anyone can be our reseller or distributor. So, you can just find us on our social media accounts to know more about the product and, and to know more about how we can be partners through our Keyman's business hubs. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much to our media friends. Thank you to the Minister International Organization um, and board members. Thank you so much for this opportunity to partner with you. Again, my name is Lerma, and with me are Doc Kiapi and wife Lina. Thank you so much. Thank you very much as well, Ms. Lerma, Doc. Malami, malami sa dapat po for raising our First presentation here tonight. So before we before we conclude our program here tonight, we would just like to acknowledge the media popularity choice. It is consolidated by our director for communications, the, the one and only Tita Norman. Once again, the names or the country that I'll be calling is not rewarded, but rather acknowledged by the press as their favorite. So it's called the media popularity choice. Candidates, please take or please be attentive to the countries that I will be calling here tonight. So the first one to be acknowledged as the media popular candidate is from candidate of the country of Spain. Mr. Spain, please be we're inviting you here on stage. Round of applause, everyone. Again, we would like to call on Mr. Spain. Please join me here on stage.
So the candidates of Mr. International 14th edition, you may now meet them. Candidates, you may go out. 